Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Today, as you can see, I'm at the usual spot. I just felt like coming here today. I've been out and about. I decided to go and do something a little bit different. So I went to Mount Trashmore and they just filmed everything that was going on there. It, it was packed. There were a lot of people out. It kind of goes back and forth between overcast and, and sort of sunny, but it's definitely only in the 50s, not the 70s. So you, you take what you can get. And I've kind of been meaning to do this shot for a while, but I just didn't have the right stuff with me at the time when I came here. And I begrudgingly hooked up the Sony Imaging Edge app to this camera, which it never was before. And it it's just as crappy as it was before. So very, very laggy and spotty and stuff. So I've been trying to like walk along this damn fallen tree. I have to keep going back to move the camera and all that kind of stuff because it's just not quite right. You think it's it's in sync, but then it isn't and it freezes and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, enough about that. So I continue to watch a ton of different videos by a lot of different creators, all using various kinds of gear just to see what they're doing. One of the things that I watched last night, uh, Vic Barry, he shoots pretty much on a, on a ZV-1. He's got a lot of great videos that, that give a lot of good tips and, and hints and, you know, all kinds, of, all kinds of good stuff. Well, last night he had said something that sparked a memory in me from when I first started doing this, meaning doing video instead of just still pictures. He said that the average shot duration is about nine seconds, meaning your, your framing, your shot should change every nine seconds or you're going to lose your audience. And I thought that was interesting because... Part of my problem when I very first started shooting video was that I did everything in one long, horrible take. And it was all shaky. I mean, back then there was no stabilization and all that kind of stuff. And if you wanted to get a gimbal, it was like 30 grand. I started, as I always do with things that I get interested in, immersing myself in that world. And I went through and started paying attention to things like watching movies and all that kind of stuff. And especially, and I've mentioned this before, in one of my videos that on IMDb, you can actually see in the information about whatever movie is that it gives you the average shot duration. And I was blown away by the fact that it, like most of these movies, they were all under five seconds. Some of them were two, some of them were three seconds, meaning you're watching this movie and you're immersed in it and you don't really realize what's going on, but you're, you're watching hundreds, thousands of little clips edited together to make this movie. So I started paying attention to it and I, I would watch a movie and I would start counting to myself, you know, all right, shot started 1,002, oh, it changed already, 1,002, you know, and I kept doing that. And that's when I found that indeed, most movies, especially modern movies, are all done in snippets of, we'll say three to seven seconds. So I kind of bought into the fact that when Vic mentioned that the average shot duration is nine seconds, or you start to lose your audience, that you have to do something at that nine second mark to switch things up. Whether you creep in, creep out, change settings, do, you know, you gotta do something that changes just you sitting there talking and doing all this stuff. And I thought about that because a lot of the times, obviously I make cuts, but I haven't done anything like ramping the speed. I have not done anything like kind of zooming in and kind of zooming out. And I guess that's something I need to do. I mean, I have added a second and sometimes a third angle to my videos. And I started to wonder if that was really important. But now that I started to do it, I started to realize that there are a lot of creators that actually do that. They always have multiple angles in, in their videos. At least some of the more popular creators do that. And I thought, okay, well, I'm on the right road. You know, as I continue this journey of learning how to, how to do this, I have started to incorporate that kind of stuff. Now that my studio is set up and I have all this gear that I know how to use properly, I have started to try to up my game by adding in the multiple angles. And apparently I need to start learning about speed ramping and taking what's in frame and kind of moving in or moving out. And that's where, that's where I, I hit the conundrum of, I didn't want to shoot in 4K anymore. Since I don't want to shoot in 4K and I'm shooting in 1080, I lose a lot of that real estate that's going to allow me to, to do fake slider shots. So, I don't know. I might have to start doing it that way, which is fine. 
again, I don't really mind having to shoot in 4K if there's reason behind it and not just shooting in 4K because everybody thinks you should shoot in 4K. I, I mean, my 1080 video, since I moved back to 1080, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. I haven't had anybody give me crap about what it looks like or, or anything like that. And it has saved me a ton of time, both in editing and rendering and uploading to YouTube. I, I don't wanna just have to keep adding a hard drive every year because I'm blowing through it, shooting a bunch of footage, especially a bunch of footage that isn't probably ever gonna see the light of day. Remember, like I said, I probably shoot two hours worth of video for every 10 to 15 minutes that you actually see. That's pretty much all I wanted to blather on about today. I wanted to come out here and do this. It smells great. Either the place is on fire or somebody's building a fire and I can smell it and it smells great. I don't know, I'm just throwing all these ideas around here. Again, I'm not worried about gear. I have all the gear I need for now and I don't need anything new and I know how to use everything that I've got. I'm just getting better at it. And now I'm starting to try to up the game as far as editing goes. Give me some suggestions. Tell me if there's a program out there you think I should learn, if there's stuff that I should be doing, if there's stuff I should stop doing, and I'll kind of see if I can incorporate it into the, into the swing of things. Anyways, that's all I got. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.